in today's session of Divorce Court. Judge Lynn Tuller hears the case of Elizabeth Crego versus Scott Crego. Do you have any idea who she may have been cheating on you with, or was it more than one person? It was about nine different guys. No, nine people. How many was it? It was probably six. Six? Six. So I was off by three. Now Elizabeth is six months pregnant and believes her new man is the child's father. Six months pregnant you are? Yes. Is this one his? And Scott is questioning if he or one of his wife's lovers fathered two of Elizabeth's other children. Did you ever believe that you were the father of the 14-month-old? No. The DNA paternity test results are in, and Judge Lynn has the answers. Whoa. Now, Elizabeth Crego and Scott Crego bring their case before Judge Lynn Tolar in today's session of Divorce Court, where real couples deal with real life. All rise. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. You may be seated. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today in the case of Elizabeth Kriego and Scott Kriego. Mr. and Mrs. Kriego, you have been married for five years. You are ready to get a divorce today. I also have in this courtroom your witness, Mr. Kriego, which is Anna Thompson. She is your current girlfriend. Mr. and Mrs. Kriego, you have three children together. One, five, four, and 14 months. However, Mr. Kriego, you do not believe that either the four-year-old or the 14-month-old is yours. That's correct. And Mrs. Kriego, you are also six months pregnant. Yes. And Mr. Kriego, you don't believe that's your child either. I have had you take DNA tests, Mr. Kriego. Okay. okay. And I know that's very important to you. Today, Mrs. Kriego is here asking for moving expenses. She wants to get out of the house. She's still living with Mr. Kriego, and she has a little problem with Mr. Kriego having a girlfriend in the house with her, uh, something I think we can all understand. Mr. Kriego, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me what's going on? She got pregnant about nine months into the relationship, and life seemed to be fine mm -hmm. until she got pregnant again. Mm -hmm. She would be out all night. Five o'clock in the morning, so she'd come home, and she said she wasn't doing nothing, or she'd be at the neighbor's house until three, four o'clock in the morning, and she'd come back with her hair, and it was wet, and I, what are you doing? And she said she was taking a shower. Well, why would she take a shower over there when we have a perfectly good shower at our house? Mm -hmm. it, it didn't make any sense. Do you believe she was cheating on you throughout the marriage? N not for the first couple of months, no. Not for the first couple of months? <laughs> no, no. Do you have any idea who she may have been cheating on you with, or was it more than one person? It was about nine different guys. Yeah. And I've met at least four of them, yes. You have met? Oh, yeah, yeah. At least four of them? Yeah. You've had conversations with them? Oh, yeah, on the phone and, and in person. And they've discussed this with yes. you? Yes. And did you ever discuss that with Mrs. Kriego? Oh, yeah. Well, she, and what she, would she say? She would deny it. She would just say that she didn't do nothing, and they're lying, or I'm lying, or mm -hmm. I'm just seeing something that's not there. But So based on these conversations, I mean, I've had people in here who had thin evidence, but you've got conversations yeah. with the actual yeah. guys. That's why you believe those children aren't yours, Yes, ma'am. the last two. Mrs. Kriegel, I'm going to go to you. Your husband says you've cheated on him with at least nine people. Is that true? Did he get it wrong? That's wrong. It okay. was not. No, nine people. How many was it? It was probably six. Six. Oh. Six. So I was off by three. <laughs> Mrs. Kriego, can you tell me how long you were faithful to your husband after you were married? Well, we got married. Everything was good. And then he just changed. And then probably six months. How did he change in six months? Because... He would either be at work, come home, get on the computer, would not help me with the children at all. And don't say that you did because you didn't. So your response to having a little trouble in the first six months of marriage was to go out and have sex with other guys? It's not only that. It's he would, no attention. There was no attention there at all. There was no attention. Nothing. It was the so computer. So since you admit to having sex with six other guys, do you think 
that there's a possibility that the two children he doesn't believe are his are not his? I know for a fact that my do- my oldest daughter, Riley, isn't his. She's, I know. Oh, so you know that's I not know his that. child. That's one thing I do know. But the baby, I'm not 100% certain. Did you tell him that at the very beginning? I told him since day one when he found out I was cheating on him. I told him I was honest with him, and he just didn't want to hear it. Is this the first time you heard that? That's the first time I've heard that she was honest with me and that she just cheated, and I thought it was okay, uh, you know. But Were you unsure about the four-year-old, or did you think she was yours, or was there a question? There's, there's a question always with all the kids, you know. Why don't you tell me the things that she was doing that made you think that she was cheating on you? Well, after Riley was born, we moved into a new place, and... Uh, she said she was going for a walk about 12 o'clock at night, which mm-hmm. is extremely strange because it's dark. Why do you want to go walk? Because we live in the country, so there's no mm-hmm. lights. And right. So she said she was going for a walk, and I made her take my cell phone with her. And it was, it's a big cell phone, one of those mm-hmm. computerized things. And I knew she wouldn't be able to use it besides answer it and mm-hmm. say hello. So I called her about 30 minutes into her walk. And I knew that she was not walking anymore because there was a radio in the background and you could hear the wind going by. And uh, she said she was walking and I said, okay. So she hung up or so she thought she did. The phone didn't hang up. So I stayed on the phone and I could hear the guy talking in the background. So either she's walking at about 60 miles an hour with somebody on her back or she's in somebody's car. And then, and then, I, and then about 20 minutes later, I could hear them having sex. When divorce court continues. You are not intimate anymore. No, ma'am. You're a lie. The last time we had sex was Tuesday when we got the DNA test done. But first, is Scott the father of Elizabeth's 14-month-old daughter? And nothing sadder when a woman don't know who her baby's father is. I have a question for you. Would you spy on your spouse if you thought they were cheating? Call toll-free 1-877-77-JUDGE and tell us your thoughts. Your voice may be heard on an upcoming show. Divorce Court is back with the case of Scott Krigo, who took a DNA paternity test to determine whether or not he fathered two of his wife's children. Mrs. Krigo, did that happen? Yes, and when I got home, we talked about that, and he said, why did you do it? And I told him I was 100% honest with him, completely. Is this the man you think is Riley's dad? No. Is this the man you think is the 14-month-old's yes. dad? Listen, uh, right. at least with respect to the 14-month-old, I'm, I'm only just going to get it out of the way instead of making everybody wait for it. Whoa. Start bonding. <laughs> That's your baby. Wow. That's your baby. Yeah. 99.99999. That is your girl. Wow. That is your girl. Usually I don't get surprised up here with these. Now I've surprised the mother. Yeah. <laughs> and nothing sadder when a woman don't know who her baby's father is. I mean that's just 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 so 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 high on the tacky pole. It's just it it doesn't even. It's hard to see. It's hard to see. And you get, you got to have more dignity for yourself to allow your own children to know who her parents are. And if you can't behave any better than that, what can they expect from you? What can they expect from you? (laughs) Mr. Krigo. Yes, ma'am. Your witness is... Well, first of all, let me ask you this. You two still live together, correct? Yes. Not technically. Not technically. You live in the same house. Yes. You are not intimate anymore. No, ma'am. You're a lie. The last time we had sex was Tuesday when we got the DNA test done. (laughs) I don't remember. 
You don't you remember? Don't remember. No. Oh, no, you're no, such no, a no, liar. No, I tell you what. I tell you what. If I knew, I, I, I wouldn't say I don't remember. There's a possibility you still have sex with this woman. Occasionally. Occasionally? occasionally. How often is occasionally? I think once this last month. Once no, a month? No, it was Maybe. not once last month. It was Mrs. like two Thomas, or three I'm times. Ms. Thomas, I'm going to talk to you. You're Mr. Kriegel's girlfriend? Yes. Is this Because everybody's getting surprised today. <laughs> is this news to you? No, not really. You knew they were still sleeping together. I didn't know for certain, but... You suspected? Suspected it was there. Are you sleeping with it? No, I'm not. Good for you. Good for you. Don't start out as a doormat. Because you'll end up a doormat. Do you understand that? I do. You with me? I am. Turn around and look at him. You look at her. Repeat after me. You will not. You will not. Keep me. Keep me. If you keep. If you keep. Doing her. Doing her. <laughs> when divorce court continues, Judge Lynn examines the shocking evidence Scott's new girlfriend posted on the internet about his wife. What kind of personal messages were you sending to her account? Oh, my Lord. I have a question for you. Would you spy on your spouse if you thought they were cheating? Call toll-free 1-877-77-JUDGE and tell us yes or no and why. Your voice may be heard on an upcoming show. Start bonding. That's your baby. Wow. Divorce Court continues with the case of Elizabeth Krigo and Scott Krigo, who were both shocked to discover he is the father of Elizabeth's 14-month-old daughter. You want to move out? Yes. Because you can't stand seeing those two together. It's not only that. I'm sick of fighting with him. I'm just done. You've had it and you're done. Yes. And how much do you believe it will cost you to move out of the house? Um... I have that. Here. May I see that? Mr. Krigo, she is still living with you. Yes, and you're living in your father's house. Yes, ma'am. A total amount of $3,400 is what you're looking for. Where are you moving? <laughs> Next, Mrs. Krigo, why don't you tell me what happened with MySpace? I was on my MySpace, minding my business. Somehow or another, one of these two got in there and wrote that with a picture of a sonogram. Um, changed my password. If you see the top of it, it says, hi, my name is Liz and I'm a... Did you do this? Yes, I did. Let me read what you said, Miss Nice Lady. <laughs> you broke into her MySpace and as if she's writing this, you have, hello, my name is Liz and I am a... Uh, I'm getting a divorce and the main reason is because I can't find the power to keep my legs closed or my mouth shut and my husband could not tolerate me cheating for the 467th time I'm a stupid bee who doesn't comprehend plain English when someone says no or it's over or too late they actually mean it who knew <laughs> what made you think that this was something you ought to do? She was sending me personal messages to my account, and I was responding to her. And she what was... kind of personal messages were you sending to her account? Oh, my Lord. First of all, it's none of your business who I sleep with. And secondly, you're the one that is trying to go out with Scott. What you are is nothing but a homewrecking bee that needs to get a life. Besides, who is the one that lets some man take half-naked pictures of you? Oh, there's something else I didn't want to know. <laughs> now, where are the situations that fathered your other kids? Do you even know? Because from what I hear, they all might not be Scott. Y'all a mess. Can I 
ask you, I mean really, I mean on a serious note, ladies, what value does this have? How does this save your marriage? How, what, 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 what does this do for you? Nothing really. I just was sick of being harassed and... That's you know, when you come back with it, they keep coming back at yeah. you. You understand that it doesn't work. And that, young lady, is not a way to start a life with somebody. You are messing with somebody else's husband, whether or not, and I, she did some things, no doubt. But that doesn't give you the moral high ground to start saying that kind of thing to somebody. That's, that's the mother of at least more of his children than he thought. When divorce court continues, Judge Lynn rules in the case of Elizabeth versus Scott Kriego. But first, Scott's question is answered. Is he the father of Elizabeth's four-year-old daughter? Well, I for one am fascinated by who the father of this child is. Because you two were both convinced the other one was not yours, and she was. My name is Dan Beliveau. I live in Arab, Alabama. And I believe that uh, uh, a woman should be submissive to her husband as long as it's from a biblical perspective. But that doesn't give the man a right to be a tyrant. Thank you. Divorce Court returns with the case of Scott Kriego. Start bonding. That's your baby. Who was shocked to find out he is the father of Elizabeth's 14-month-old daughter. And right now, Scott finds out if he's also the father of Elizabeth's four-year-old daughter. I, for one, am fascinated by who the father of this child is. Because you two were both convinced the other one was not yours, and she was. Maybe you don't run around as much as you think you do. This is your baby. Oh. Riley is your girl. She's your daughter. All three of those children, because you're not worried about the first one, no. are yours. Those are your flesh and blood, your heart, your babies. Now, there's another baby right on in there. Six months pregnant you are. Yes. Is this one his? No. Are you sure it's not his? I'm 100% sure. Okay. Now, the answer to having a problem with one man is not having babies with another. It's just not. And so now that you're a mother of three, you have to grow up and, and get it right. And you need to quit sleeping with her. Yes. I think... I think you take an advantage of both of them. She's a nice, sweet girl on some level. And what? That's what I told him. I told him, I said, you need to make a decision. You can't do be with both. No, don't. He doesn't need to make a decision. You need to make a decision. Yeah. You need to go ahead on and roll. That's what I want. Because I this don't is want. not going to work. And you're going to a grown woman with children. You make decisions that are positive and definitive for yourself. You don't wait till somebody else does it for you. You got a lot of growing up to do. You got a lot of growing up to do because a lot of this wrong lands right on your head. Those are your kids. You got to love them. You got to take care of them. And in order to take care of them, you must treat her decently. She cannot be worried about money. She cannot be afraid of where she wants to live. She cannot be harassed by other women. She cannot be in a state of, uh, of psychic disruption because that all filters down and falls all over your children. Do you understand that? Yes, ma'am. And she has not worked. She stayed home for five years and took care of those children. And now she wants to get out of your daddy's house so she doesn't have to watch you fall in love with another woman. It is a perfectly reasonable request. And you do have a financial obligation to help her get on her feet after five years of being home and take care of children. So you will pay her $3,400. It is so ordered. All rise. Parties may leave the courtroom. I'm just glad that's over. I can't believe how many times she's cheated on me. If you look in the dictionary under cheater, you'd probably see a picture of her. It's just ridiculous. I'm just sick of fighting with him. I'm going to take my children and I'm going to go find my own place, move and be happy for once. I wish her the best, though. I mean, maybe she'll get 
get what she deserves in the end. I'm happy about the new baby. I thought my other two weren't his. Found out they were. That makes me happy. This one, if it's not his, then at least I know that I'm going to be taken care of either way, with or without him.